We're talking 53-man roster prediction as well as the practice squad. That's what this video is all about. Look, 53-man roster is coming up here quick. About a little over a week away, so I wanted to do a projection video before that occurs. But before we get into today's video, if you think it's a sound and smart idea to hook yourself right before you go cast to go fishing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we took all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. And sometimes being a Lions fan, you feel like you lost your skin. Also, take that like button with you, hook it up to the hook, throw it in the lake. Let's try to catch a bass. Let's get into today's Lions 53-man roster projection. Let's go ahead and start what I think the Detroit Lions quarterback situation is going to be. And I'm actually going with two. I do not believe they go with three this time. And yes, as much as I want David Blau to win this backup role, I do think Tim Boyle gets it. I think it does come down to, obviously, the preseason week three game here. But with what David Blau has done, he's turned the ball over twice in each game. Tim Boyle looked a little bit better against the Indianapolis Colts with the third string. So I think the Detroit Lions will go with Tim Boyle here. If you look at last year, they really did not want to give David Blau any sort of reps at all with the backup role when Jared Goff went down. I think that continues on, and they decide that Tim Boyle is the backup for the Detroit Lions. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean he'll be the backup throughout the whole season. Maybe they look through the waiver wire potentially for, you know, quarterbacks that may get released to help out the Lions in that front. But as of right now, that's what I got going on. Let me know in the comments section, rate the Detroit Lions offense right now, 1 through 99. 1 being the worst offense of all time, 99 being that you're the best offense in the NFL. Let me know what you guys think. Rate the Lions offense. Let's continue on here. We're going to go to the running back position. This is an awesome battle. Love this battle that's taking place. I have DeAndre Swift obviously doing it, Jamal Williams, Craig Reynolds, but I have Justin Jackson as the Detroit Lions fourth string running back. The people I do have out is Jamar Jefferson and Godwin Igwebuke. FYI, you're going to notice some players like a Jamison Williams. It's not the list. Or a Jason Cabinda. They're injured. They will be on the PUP and NFI list. So that is a reason why. But I have Justin Jackson beating out Jamar and Godwin Ig Wabuke. I think that they can get it done, folks. I do. I think that is the route that they go. Because I love what Justin Jackson brought. And before everybody freaks out, let me just go ahead and go with the NFI and PUP list here. Jason Cabinda. NFI Pup List, Jameson Williams, Romeo Aquar, and Joshua Pascal. So they're not going to be on the 53-man roster because they're on these lists. So if I don't have them on there, don't freak out. That's the reason why. Let's go ahead and continue on with the wide receiver position for the Detroit Lions here. I got in DJ Shark, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, Quintus Cephas. This was hard for that final spot. But Tom Kennedy... I have him on here. He has played better than Trinity D. Benson and Khalil Pimpleton. I was fighting with Maurice Alexander. I personally would have Maurice Alexander on this list for the kick return slash punt return. I love what he brings. I would actually have him over Tom Kennedy just for that. That whole thing right there, just for the kick return. But it's hard-pressed not to throw some love towards Tom Kennedy's way. The coaching staff does like him. So I can see where they decide to keep him on the 53 over a Maurice Alexander. But this third preseason game is really important for Alexander, Trinity Benson, and Pimpleton here. It is really important because I think the last spot is up in the air right now between Benson and Alexander. I think Pimpleton will be on the practice squad just an FYI. But I'd love to see Alexander get another shot. Kick return, punt return, see what he could do on offense as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the tight end position. This was a tough one. I actually went four tight ends here. TJ Hawkinson, obviously. But Brock Wright continues to be a solid 
tight end for the, the Detroit Lions. Got to have him on this list. James Mitchell, we drafted this guy. He'll probably make the team because of his draft spot. He's coming back from injury. Probably slowly want to implement him into getting reps. See, maybe you'll see more on preseason week three versus Steelers. I had a fight here between Devin Funches and, Z and Shane Zilstra. But I went with Shane Zilstra here because he looked good last week. This can easy fl easily flip if Funches comes out again and blows up the tight end position like he did in week one of preseason if he does that again in week three. So still up in the air, but right now I got Zilstra over Funches for that specific reason. Just because what he is bringing there to the Lions there. Folks, I'm literally 25 subscribers away from 23,400 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 23.4K. We're on the rise here. We want to continue to grow this channel. And if you're watching, you might as well subscribe because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Let's continue on. We're going to go with the offensive line. Players I got in. Taylor Decker, Joan Jackson, Frank Ragnall, Pudi, Vati, Vaitai, Panay Sewell. Matt Nelson, I did not want to put on this list. He played horrible in preseason. But the Lions have an issue with backup tackle. This could be a, another scour looking for other players that are released from other teams. FYI, the Lions probably will pick up a player or two from other teams. Tackle could be a position, so watch for that. Who gets released? Evan Brown, easy on this list. Best, you know, best backup guard on here. Tommy Kramer as well. I think he won the position. I have Logan Stengberg out. Dan Skipper out. Abena Eze out as well. Kelvin Jarvis, Darren Paulo, and Kendall Lamb not making the team. So that's who I got for the offensive line for the Detroit Lions. Some of these guys will be in the practice squad, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and jump to the defensive line, predominantly interior here. I got Michael Brockers, obviously making the team. Ali McNeil, Durr, Levi and Wuzurike. He wasn't placed on the PUP or NFI list or anything like that, so he will be on the team. Jashawn Cornell, I have him making the Lions roster as well. Isaiah Bugs. Come in to help out. And Demetrius Taylor, the undrafted guy making this football team. Who I have out is Bruce Hector. Don't have him on the team. So the interior looking like that. Maybe they pick up another guy again on a player cuts. Very possible for the the backup guys. This is the controversial, controversial list here for the edges. I have Aiden Hutchins, obviously Charles Harris, Austin Bryant, and John Kaminsky. Little, little less edges here. I think the Lions could look to get an edge in the final cuts of other teams. Right now, I gave one more interior lineman to the list and one less on the edge. I can see a situation where it's flipped. Lions pick up a guy that's, that's released. But I have Julian Akwar not making the team. He hasn't really shown anything. And I, when, when Jeff Risden said that in the podcast that he doesn't believe he makes the team and he talked to somebody in the know, I'm going to give my faith that he knows what he's talking about there. And he said the same thing with James Houston, not making the team. He hasn't really done anything to make the team. Spectacular. But I have him definitely as a practice squatter for the Detroit Lions and Eric Banks not making the team. Let me know what you think of this list. A lot of people are, think that he, Julian does make it. A lot of people don't. So it's like 50-50. I'm going on the don't, the don't ride because of Jeff Risden. I had the feeling before we started training camp, and when Jeff Risden said that, it's like, okay, I maybe he's, he's right here. We're going to continue on here with the linebacker position. This one's fluid as well because the linebackers are not good. Very fluid. So this probably is not the final one, just FYI. Alex Anzalone, Malcolm Rodriguez, and Derek Barnes. Your, your quote-unquote starters there. Chris Board as well. Anthony Pittman making the list as the final guy. 
Anthony Pittman, you, you're not safe even if you make the 53, the initial 53. The Lions could look other ways. Jared Davis, I don't have him making the team. I don't have him over Chris Board, Derek Barnes, and Anthony Pittman. Just don't have him out. Josh Woods not making the team as well. That's what I got going on right there. Let's continue on with the cornerbacks for the Detroit Lions. Amani Warrior for sure. Jeffrey Okuda, A.J. Parker, Will Harris. Will make the team now. Hearing from what Dan Campbell's saying, that he has a role for Will Harris and Jeffrey Okuda, regardless who wins that spot. So I think Will Harris made the team now. Chase Lucas, love him making this roster spot. Before the season, before training camp started, I had him out. I have him in now. He's been making some plays. Jerry Jacobs, not on the PUP list. Awesome. I think he makes the 53, not being on injury list. So that means he could be ready to go hopefully early in the NFL season. I'd love to see him out there week one. I don't know what the probability that is, but I have him there. Mike Hughes out. We signed him in free agency. Don't have him making the team. Mark Gilbert, do we really got to talk about that? Xavier Smith and Cedric Boswell. No goes for the Lions at the corner position. So huge shout out to Chase Lucas for fighting and Jerry Jacobs for working hard to get on this you know, to, to be healthy. So huge shout out to those guys. Let's jump to the safety position here. Tracy Walker, Deshaun Elliott, Afutu Malafanu, Kirby Joseph, and CJ Moore. This one is absolutely easy. This may be the easiest list here. And Juju Hughes not making the Lions roster. Special teams, we do got a battle going on here. And I and I honestly think that's that Austin Siebert beat out Riley Patterson for the kicker position. No change for Jack Fox and Scott Daly. Let's go ahead and jump to the practice squad. We're supposed to have 16. I think that there's it's going to be so fluid right now. So I just left a spot open, probably two spots open, in all honesty, for this. I got David Blau making the team as the quarterback. Jamar Jefferson, Godwin Igbuke, Trini Benson, Maurice Alexander as our kick punt returner. Khalil Pimpleton, I think he's he can make the practice squad for sure. I, I love his, you know, him him getting better every week. Devin Funches, I think he actually could uh, make this team and not get picked up by another squad. Juju Hughes, Obena Eze, uh, another player we can develop. Dan Skipper, James Houston, our draft pick, linebacker slash edge rusher, whatever you want to call him. Jared Davis, I don't think anyone's going to pick him up. Mike Hughes, cornerback, he may get picked up. That's a possibility. Uh, Bobby Price and Bruce Hector. Again, 100% fluid here. I, I put a spot for anybody else. So this is 15, even though it's 16. Expect players to get picked up from another team. Go ahead and follow me on all the social media sites, Lions Nation Unite, Facebook, Twitter, and we got Instagram as well. With that said, folks, I will see you later. Adios.